So kayak bass fishing tournaments have just become an absolute phenomenon in the United States. There's just been a proliferation of live tournaments and online tournaments through KBF, which is Kayak Bass Fishing Organization. Uh, there's BASS, there's Yak Bass, and there's just so many tournaments. And all of these rely on a system of measuring tournament success by using catch photo release. So you use a measuring board um, rather than getting weight. There's no live wells involved, which I actually prefer. It's a better conservation approach, I think, too, to minimize the impact on these fish rather than displacing them around the lake. We are just catching them and releasing them uh, very close to where we're catching them. So today I thought I'd go over some tips on how to make sure that you get a quality photo that uh, won't get disqualified or won't get any penalties um, afforded to it. And also provide some tips on ways to make this experience a little bit better for you and better for the judges. I've been participating in these events for a few years and I've also been a tournament director on other catch photo release tournaments. And I can tell you right now as a competitor, it's absolutely terrifying to get out there, catch a fish and then not get your full measure of your points. Uh, because you screwed up on taking the photo or you didn't have some camera setting right on your phone. And as a tournament director, it's, it feels awful to disqualify or penalize people's catches. So I'm going to go over just some tips and techniques today to help avoid that scenario if you can. There we go. There's fish. Feels decent. All right, get him in the net. Got him. Nice. Now, I always net my fish when I'm doing this for these tournaments because it just makes things so much easier. I can just calm down. I don't have to worry about the fish. It's got water across its gills. And I can take my time to get things oriented and ready for get my photos taken. I like to use these deep nets that have uh, no knots. They're knotless. This is a rubber coated nylon. That way when I'm getting everything ready, uh, the fish can just relax. It's like having my own little live well right here. I don't have to worry about stressing the fish. So I get a really good catch photo and release and minimize the stress. But she's got water across her gills. She's in good shape. I can take my time. Okay, so the first thing obviously I'm going to do is get my camera ready. Um, and I use the wide angle, which is why I like the Pixel 5s, is because they have a wide angle camera. So it really allows me to pull back and get everything in the camera. I don't have to raise the camera way up here to get a good photo. I can do it fairly close because I've got that wide angle lens. So I'll get that all set and I'll get my measuring board out. So I use the catch boards. Uh, it's because it's required by our tournament, um, which actually the catch boards are the best in terms of they already have everything marked out. You don't have to use a Sharpie or anything to darken the lines. They've got everything well done for you. Another thing I do is to add a little sticker here on the end of my bump board. This just helps the judges see that the lips are touching the end of the board. I've got my identifier. I try to use a non-glossy one. This is from the Blue Fox Gifts. Um, the reason I like that one is it doesn't have a lot of reflection, unlike the like Turney X ones, which are inside plastic. Uh, you just put your paper inside there, but you get tons of reflection, so you're really having to fight the reflection to get a good photo. All right, I'm going to pull my fish up. Calm down. Calm down, my dear. Not a giant, but remember when supporting fish... You always want to hold them straight vertical, or if you're going to hold them like that, you want to support the belly. Uh, you don't want to do like the, the pros and uh, contort that jaw. You can stress the jaw. All right, I'm going to push her forward, make sure the mouth is closed, and firmly get my hand up on there. And I'll get the camera ready. Here we go. And with that wide angle, I can I can be just this height right here. Get a nice photo. 
keeping my hands clear of the head and tail. So when you're photographing, you want this to be more directly over the fish, not necessarily at an angle, right? Because at an angle, it's harder to discern what's going on. Straight up and down over the top is better. And clearly seeing the identifier. Now, instead of just releasing this fish immediately, I'm going to put it back in my live well, which is my net. I'm going to check those photos. I'm going to review those photos before I let her go. So I check the photo. The mouth looks closed. Clearly you can see my identifier. I can clearly read. This is a 16 and a half inch fish. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the properties on this. Uh, and make sure that it's geotagged correctly and that I have the date on there too. Because sometimes if you lose your GPS satellites or you've got some privacy setting, you might not actually have that. So, so I just want to make sure that I have the necessary metadata attached to that photo. So it's time to let her go. I'll get her back in the water. Senko fish, nice. Get him in the net here. All right, got another one. June bug Senko. Pretty fish. Okay, well, get him down in my net so he can breathe, and I can take my time preparing. Now I like using my Pixel cameras, and I've been using Pixels for several years for these tournaments. And the reason why is Pixels uh, have the best performance in low light situations out of all the cameras. iPhones come close, but the Pixels are definitely the best in the business in terms of uh, low light performance. Just And it has nothing to do with their lenses, it's just the software in here is just absolutely amazing takes very crisp photos even in low light. Additionally, my Pixel 5 is completely waterproof, so um, I can drop it in the water, it can get wet, and I don't have to worry about it. Now, not all Pixels have the wide angle lens, um, and I know most, all of the iPhones do. Um, that wide angle is really nice because then you don't, like I said, you don't have to hold the, you don't have to hold the camera or the phone up here to take the picture to get a nice straight down entire view of the fish. You can hold it very short. You can actually see the screen and it makes it really nice. Another nice thing about using a net is they'll thrash around there. They'll tire themselves out and they tend to be less floppy when you get them on the board. Of course, I probably just jinxed myself and this fish will flop off the board. I'll get it on camera and I can cry. So you can see here's the wide angle view and if I go to the normal view, you see how that changes it. I have to really raise this up. So that's why that wide angle view is really nice. Let's me back off and see it. Okay, now that I've got a good picture, I'm gonna put her back in there, pour the slime off my board, and then I'm gonna check my metadata. Get her back in the water here. I'll put links to the catch board and to my favorite uh, net there. That's the Tournament Blue Nets from Ranger Nets. Uh, they're just absolutely awesome nets. They're really easy on the fish. Nice deep bottom to them. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye, guys.